Welcome to What's New Andrew. Today we're going to take a look at a form of zero trust within your OpenSense network. We're going to set up so that LANs can only access the internet and can't access any of the other subnets within your firewall. This is a great setup if you want to isolate devices, say you have a test lab set up or you have devices that are kind of untrusted on your network, it'll isolate them from all the other devices and that way you won't have to worry about any uh, communication across subnets. So we'll set this up with a few different rules and a uh, firewall alias and we'll go ahead and do that within our uh, virtual machine that we have set up over here within OpenSense. So again, same virtual machine that I use in some of the other videos. It's on my uh, local network, so the, uh, the WAN is a local IP address. And I have four interfaces set up. Today we're gonna to be using OPT1 as our isolated network. This can be used on any of your uh, LAN devices or LAN networks. So if you wanna set this up on all your LANs and then just individually uh, allow access to machines, this will work perfectly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this out by setting up an alias for all of the networks that we don't wanna have access to. And so what we'll do to do that is go over to firewall and aliases, and we're going to go and create a new one. So over here on the right, hit add, and we're gonna call this private and reserved. So this is like all the private networks and the reserved networks that, uh, that we don't wanna have access to by default. So we're gonna say networks, because again, this is gonna be all networks. And then I've got a list over here, I'm gonna copy this. I'll have this available in the description below so you can copy it as well, it'll be linked out there. So we'll go over here to content. This is where we're gonna actually drop it in there. So these are all the networks uh, ranges that we wanna block network access to. So by default, this is the typical RFC uh, 1918 set of networks, which is your 192.168. 10.0, all those networks that you typically have within your uh, your private networks. So if you get a consumer grade router, um, then it'll block access to all these, the 192 ones that typically show up. Uh, also, whatever you would set up locally within your firewall would be within these ranges. It also has things like link local, carrier grade NAT, um, some of the uh, multicast. So if you are using things like multicast, like IPTV, you might wanna take this 224 one out but you can always go ahead and put it in first, see how things work and back things out if you need to. And then I also, in case you're using uh, IPv6, I also threw those two uh, reserved networks in here as well. So we're gonna call this, for the description, private IPs. And I'll also have a description what each one of these um, are and why they're there. So you can also make a, a decision as to whether you wanna include this in your list or not. So we'll hit save here and then we'll hit apply. And if you notice, we've got private and reserved are set up here, and it's this whole set of, uh, of, of um, IP ranges here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the firewall rules, and we've got three main rules that we're gonna set up to do that. So we'll go ahead and do that now. To do that, we're gonna go over to our firewall and rules. So again, down here to rules, and since we're working on our OPT network, we're gonna select that one. You'd select whichever network makes sense to you that you wanna do this on. If you wanna do it on all of them, Great way to do it. I uh, actually set this up on all of mine and then I just individually add access to whatever is needed. So the first rule that we're gonna do is going to be a block rule. And so this one is gonna block access to all of those uh, ranges that we just did. So we're gonna say block. We're gonna say uh, TCP IP version. Since we did have uh, V6 ones in there, we're gonna say both IPv4 and IPv6. If you're not running IPv6 on your firewall, IPv4 is just fine uh, with this. The source, this is gonna be the OPT network. So um, you have two different options here. OPT net means anything on that network. So we're gonna select that one there. You would select whichever one uh, you're using. And then the destination is any of those uh, addresses that we just had. So we're gonna look for that uh, alias that we just created, which is private and reserved. So we're gonna say, if it's trying to get to any of these, then we're gonna block it. And we're going to leave all the uh, the the um, the ports destination range to um, to unchanged to any, and we're going to just say block access to private and reserved. That way we know what it is um, when we're looking at it later. So we'll hit save, and now you'll see that uh, that access rule that's right there. We'll see that we we say anything that's IPv6 from that network trying to get to these private uh, and reserved IP addresses here, we're gonna block it. So that's the first rule that we're gonna set up. 
The next one is going to allow us to actually get out to the internet. So we're going to say add, and here's where we're going to say a pass rule. So we're going to say pass, and again, uh, uh, TC or PIP version is v4 and v6. The source again is going to be our OPT network. And then here is where we're going to say the destination. The, the tricky part is we're going to say private again. So we're going to say the destination being that, but we're going to tick this little checkbox here because what that's going to say is anything that's not in the private IP address range. And so this is going to be allow internet access. And then if we scroll to the bottom again, oops, don't select everything. We'll scroll to the bottom. We'll hit save. And now we've got our two rules. So now it's saying anything on this network uh, that's going to these, we're going to block. Anything that is uh, called a pound sign or the, the uh, not sign with the exclamation point, anything that's not going to that is going to be uh, allowed through. So that's our, our two of our rules. We're going to add one just for good measure because uh, OpenSense typically has a, a default allow setup in it. So unless you've changed that, we're going to go ahead and block any other access. This is kind of overkill, but it, it's an easy one. We're just going to have one more block rule and not change anything to it. So this, what this will do is this will say anything that is in your network that uh, doesn't pass these two rules, we're going to block it by default. So what you've done now is you've said, uh, I don't want anybody to be able to get access my uh, private IP addresses within my network. I also don't uh, do want them to allow anything that's not on that. And I'm going to block anything that doesn't meet those two rules. So at this point, you've at, uh, you've got access to everything you need. You've got uh, the, the uh, external internet. You've got the internal in, uh, internet blocked or the internal uh, intranet blocked. And then we'll just go ahead and hit apply changes. And at this point, you can use uh, everything you need for the internet. And if you're on this subnet or a device is on the subnet, it can get out to the internet, but it can't get to anything else. If you do want to have access from a device to another one, you'll just add a pass rule and specifically call out those items. If you have any questions about that, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I'd be glad to help you out. But hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this helps you uh, learn how you can isolate your network from uh, all the other networks within your firewall. So now anything on this, uh, this LAN connection on my OPT1 will be fully blocked from anything else uh, on the network. So you can add the same thing to any of your other networks, block traffic so they're not uh, communicating with each other. And that way you got a nice secure network that's isolated uh, any of the machines that you have that you don't want to necessarily uh, have on your regular network. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.